Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Russell Mania. Welcome back to the Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated series. I know it's been a hot minute since I did anything on this channel. I was doing some stuff for Nickelodeon All Stars Brawl right before Ren and Stimpy was announced for the game. But with personal issues that came up in my life, I took a break from YouTubing and videography for a while. But now I'm getting back into the swing of things and we're going to continue this series. This time with the top 10 easiest golden spatulas in the game. Now, uh, same rules as applied as last time, except the exact opposite. The time, how little time can I complete this mission? How much effort or a little bit of effort can I put into this game? And can I do this with my eyes closed? Uh, most of these, yes, yes you can. And that's basically the rules for this game, uh, for this video, so let's begin. Coming in at number 10, we have On Top of the Hill and Jellyfish Fields. Now listen, getting from point A to point B missions, those are simple, those are easy. But we have to break those down, I have to say this is the easiest one for uh, three reasons. First off, it still feels like a tutorial based level, that way you can still get a swing of things with enemies such as the Slaughter Robot and the Hammer, which is another point it brings up is two of the easiest actual real game robots, that being Slaughter and Hammer. And it's just basically getting the point A to point B in a zigzag line. And of course, you have to get the bungee jump away. That's not the point. It's still easy. I mean, even if you would have got Chomp or uh, Tartar at this point, it would still make it at the number 10 list. But jumping down to the number 9 spot, we have the Feet King Jellyfish mission. This is the first boss you'll encounter in the game, as well as the easiest boss in the entire SpongeBob series, not just Battle for Kingy Bottom or Battle for Kingy Bottom Rehydrated. Now, why is this higher than on top of the hill? Well, first off, you don't even get any of the robots are in this boss fight. You get the jellyfish. And the second one is because King Jellyfish only has two attacks. So he's more jellyfish and the ground pound where you have to jump over his lightning charge. Hit him three times, then take the slide down and bounce back to the squidward and you get a golden spatula. And coming at number 8, we're still sticking with the King Jellyfish battle as we got Slide Leap. Once you beat King Jellyfish and you grab the jelly, you then take the Spork Mountain Slide all the way down and jump the ramp at the end to grab your Golden Spatula. Coming in at number 7, we have Get Aloft their Mighty in the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. So to get this uh, golden spatula, like, you first have to arm all four cannons and then you will unlock a trampoline on the side of the Flying Dutchman ship. Hit you Sandy to get onto this trampoline and then you'll get up to the crow's nest and you will get the golden spatula. It is simple as one, two, three, especially with it being in one of the harder uh, levels of the game, the Flying Dutchman's graveyard. Number six, we have Super Bounce in SpongeBob Dreams. Now, Spongebob Dreams isn't notoriously be known for being easy, except for one golden spatula, which we'll get to later. But Super Bounce is a extreme close second. So basically, it's all about timing. It's not too hard. Just make sure you don't hit the box with the spikes. And just land on the trampoline. And that's basically it. So pretty simple. Coming in at number 5, we have on top of the chum bucket in Bikini Bottom Part 3. So basically, what you do is you go to the Trump Bucket after you get the Cruiser Bubble, after you beat Robot Patrick, hit the three buttons on the side of it with the Cruiser Bubble, and then you bounce up on a trampoline on top of the Chum Bucket, and then you will get your Golden Spatula. It's simple as that. Now you're probably wondering why isn't on top of the uh, Pineapple or on top of the Shady Chills not on here. Well, that's simple. This one is just standing still and then jumping up versus the other you have to actually jump multiple times and so that's why I put it at number five all right number four we have goo tanker ahoy in the flying dutchman's graveyard so after you beat the two blitz in the uh, first part of the graveyard you will see a goo tanker that is leaking out this cruiser bubble to hit it hit the lid it will close the goo tanker and then you just drop down onto the wrecked ship Follow it, and then you will get a golden spatula. It's pretty simple. Coming in at number 3, we have Spongebob's Closet and Spongebob's Pineapple, literally where you spawn in to start the game. 
So basically how to get this golden spatula is to basically get the 50 shiny objects in Spongebob's kitchen and bathroom, go to the closet, unlock the door, and you get the golden spatula, and Spongebob is on his way. Literally that's it, only reason I put it up in number 3 is because you do have to do a little bit of effort, that's about it though, uh, compared to the other two. And speaking of number 2, we have Annoy Squidward and Squidward's Tiki. Now let's be honest, this is the funniest Golden Spatula mission because all you really do is to jump 5 times. Literally do that, or you can even bubble bash 5 times and it will still give you the same award. You get the Golden Spatula and Squidward kicks you out. That's the whole thing. And we're getting down to the number one golden spatula. If you're a SpongeBob but I don't bottom fan, you know what's coming before we get there. We have to do mention some honorable mentions. And the number one spot, Spongebob Stream. Let's recap. You slid down Sandy Slide. You jumped across the musical notes of Squidward's Stream. And you about nearly killed yourself defeating the robots in Mr. Krabs' Stream. So when you get to Patrick's Stream, you're probably ready for the ultimate challenge that awaits you. Is it a boss fight? Is it a time trial? Another ambush? No. So fast, SpongeBob. You'll have to pass. Very well, sir. Challenge accepted. Very well. Your challenge is to find the golden spatula. You're holding it. You did it. Now here is your. He just gives you the golden spatula. Literally, that's it. All you do is talk to Sponge, uh, talk to Patrick, and you don't even have to finish the conversation. You just start the conversation when you walk up to him, press B, and you can walk away your golden spatula. You literally do not have to do anything to get this golden spatula. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was the 10 of the easiest golden spatulas. Do you think there was one I left off? Make sure you comment in the comment section below. Also, links to my main channel will be in the description below as well. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to us for Mini Game On. I have plenty of more Battle for Kingdom Bottom videos coming out, including every slide ranked worst to best in the game. Keep your eye out for that, and I will see y'all next time. Remember to say 0G, and I love you.